All right, guys, I've got my 1600 mount out, and on top of it is my 175 F8 Starfire EDF telescope. And I'm going to show you how I mount this telescope onto the 1600. What you see here is the 16 inch astrophysics saddle. And there was a discussion recently on the AP forum about these clamps that the springs weren't long enough to fully push these clamps back against your uh, knobs here. Now I've never had a problem. I'll show you how I do it. And um, you know, and again when you do when you take this off, especially at night, you want to be careful because you want to make sure there's nothing in your way. So as you take this down and, and lift this down off the um, saddle, you don't want to have anything in your way so you walk back and trip on it. So, but let me show you how, what I do. Here's the 16 inch saddle and this is what they were talking about. See the, the spring is, has only a certain length and so instead of smashing it back up against the knob, if you had this thing this way or you even had this the opposite side where this was to the top, well this would fall down. Okay, now I've never had a problem because whenever I do it, I make sure that the saddle is facing down in this position. That, that way they're automatically going down. Another thing I do when I'm going to set this, I make sure that these clamps are just a hair below the actual solid part of the saddle. Now when I do this, I make sure that I have the tool that I'm going to use, and I'll show you this, one, that I have this tool that I'm going to use sitting in here just like that so it can't roll away anywhere. And that's what you're going to use to tighten these knobs. So here's what I'm using. This is a uh, this is the cobalt brand. You can use anything. I like the rubber r rubberized surface, but it's got a quarter inch drive shank on it. So to that, I added a that you see here. It's a quarter inch to three eighths inch socket adapter, and attached to that is the uh, Allen head bit, and it is a three sixteenth. Because that's what that tool takes, or that, that knob takes a 3 16 Allen wrench. Now, what I've done is I've epoxied everything together so this is all one unit. Because one thing I found is sometimes you're pulling this out of the toolbox or you're attaching, you know, you're, you're, you're tightening down something, and what happens? Something disconnects. So I want this to be act as one solid tool. So. Everything is epoxied together, very simple to use, and um, I find this to be the best way to handle this. Now the next thing is make sure your telescope is near where you're going to place it and that it's secure. And uh, when you're going to take it off, you want to make sure you have the same setup. I don't want to set this right on the ground, so I'm going to set this on one of my rigid toolboxes in which I keep a lot of my accessories for my telescope in. So it's close by, ready to mount on top of the 1600 with the saddle. All right, let's give this a try. So now when I set this up there, I somewhat know where this needs to be. And as you can see, I'm using this bottom rail on this uh, saddle to place this. Now if I tip this, I can feel, but when I tip it back, push up on it, I know where it's seating up here. Now it's just a simple matter of taking the center knob and, and pushing on this tube so you can feel it flat on the saddle and then just turning this I can feel it going up okay 
I still got a hold of it. Then I'm just going to lightly, okay, now I can see that it is fully engaged. Then I'll turn this one on, that one, double checking. That simple, guys. That simple. All right, now we're gonna take it off. So here's what I do. I initially loosen them and just, just, a, slight, just a slight friction on all three of the knobs. And it goes without saying that you want your right ascension and deck axis tightened down. So now, I'll put my tool down here where I showed earlier so it can't roll anywhere. And then I'll loosen the two outer ones first. Then get the tool. Now, it's starting to rock so I know that it's loose. And I'm just going to let it come down. I can feel it. I can feel it when it hits. So now I know it's ready to tip back and take the tube off. 